Welcome, friends, to our next Bhagavad Gita lesson. I may look a little bit bleary-eyed. I arrived in Italy this morning, and I don't sleep in those overnight flights, so I am a little bit out of it. But I want to keep my weekly routine of these less sending out these lessons. So let's start with our slow, deep breath. Ariyom Tatsa, Om Shanti. We're on the 15th verse of the fourth chapter. Uh, this is Krishna advising Arjuna. The ancient seekers continued their work in this world as they strove for liberation, Arjuna. Follow their example by serving in that same spirit. In this verse, Sri Krishna asks Arjuna to consider the examples of many seekers for self-realization throughout history who understood that giving up action was not the way to freedom. Even if it was possible to give up action, which is not, uh, it's not the way to avoid, uh, not the way to get off this wheel of karma, action, reaction, action, reaction. These great souls understood the teachings of the Gita and they successfully uh, achieved liberation through maintaining service to the world rather than isolating themselves in a cave. And this is good news for a boy who normally lives in Manhattan. When I became a part of the Holy Order of Sannyas and I took the initiation to become a Swami, I, there's a, a vow that we repeat every day. And a part of it goes, uh, I, with total faith and devotion, will utilize my life in selfless service of God and his creation. I'm going to utilize my life for that purpose. The Buddhists take it to an extreme. The, the vow of Bodhisattva is not to achieve final liberation until all beings uh, are, have reached that stage. I'm not, I haven't reached that level of, of selflessness and patience and spirit of sacrifice. But I do understand uh, Krishna's point here that uh, being of service to the world and seeking enlightenment are not contradictory approaches to spiritual life. Krishna teaches us how uh, service can be done in such a way that it's karma eliminating rather than karma generating. For our reflection, uh, there are places in the Gita where Krishna also talks about the importance and the benefits of solitude. So think about how are you going to find the balance between being a contributing member of the social order and having time to be alone? Thanks for joining. See you soon. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.